Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Have you not upgraded to OBS 28 yet? If so, why, why not? The incredible and absolutely insane OBS developers have already released beta one of OBS 29. I know, bonkers. Let's take a cheeky little look, press that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any pro streaming tips. Put your rocket for the stone. So a lot of the update has actually been bug fixes, tweaks and general improvements such as the replay buffer having a new memory limit. So rather than it only having an eight gigabyte memory limit, it can now span all the way up to 75% of your system's installed RAM. There is an update to the inbuilt NVIDIA effects that were introduced in OBS 28. Now it supports temporal processing, which will improve the quality of the masking. You will need to make sure you have the up-to-date NVIDIA SDKs, otherwise you will get this error and it will not work. Another handy one is for you pro streamers out there with multiple monitors. Sometimes OBS throws a hissy fit and mixes your monitors up, especially if you unplug one and plug it back in or something like that. Now OBS 29 has a better display capture screen naming system, so it shouldn't happen anymore. This will mean when you upgrade, your existing screen captures will be blank and you will need to manually assign them again. We can now mute individual individual browser docs. Any custom browser doc you have in OBS, just right click in it and press mute. Also in this menu, we can inspect a browser source too. Most of you probably won't need to use this though. The video capture device source now can support higher refresh rates and it also should automatically pick up the audio for most capture cards. I sadly have a dead budget set up so cannot show you this. But I do see Epos Vox on the patch notes so I can guarantee he will have a video on this. If and when he does, I'll leave a link below. There is also a handy slide counter so if you are using the image slideshow source, you can see which slide you are currently on and what the last slide number is. If you are enjoying the video, show me and YouTube by cracking that like button and tickle me subscribe button too as we are aiming for that 25k. Now for the nitty gritty. One of the biggest parts of this update is the added support for AMD and Intel AV1 encoders. This won't be for everyone as it is graphic card dependent. It is aimed at the RDNA3 and ARC GPUs. Since I don't really have access to a lot of different hardware to test this kind of thing and give you examples and statistics, you know, budget set up and all, I can again guarantee that the tech nerd king himself Epos Vox will have something in store for you. He has incredible content, especially if you want to get really into the technical side to improve your stream settings and stability. He really is the OG OBS wizard. A great feature that has been long overdue in OBS is an EQ. In OBS 29, we now have an EQ natively, so no need for using third-party VST plugins. Just add an audio filter and it's there. I know it's only three band, but at least it's a star. I really hope they keep adding to this as sound design is such an important part of your stream and if you're like me, I think I overuse VST plugins. Another audio filter has been added too, the upward compressor. It's basically the same as a compressor but for low quiet sounds. So a compressor basically squishes down your loud audio so your audio output volume is more consistent. The upward compressor will raise the volume of your quiet audio. A great example would be if you're whispering or if there are quiet taps or footsteps in a game. This will help your stream hear everything a little more. I know a lot of you audio engineers are screaming at me now saying that's not entirely right. But I'm here to make things easy to understand for everyone. So that's why I said it's basically like that. Just a quick thanks to all these people that help me make this content. If you are feeling thankful for my content, to join monthly or just send a coffee, all my links are below. It would be hugely appreciated. You Mac users can now use their iPhone on the 
new desk view system Apple implemented in their recent update using the continuity camera. Just add your video capture device and if your Mac is all connected up with your iPhone with continuity, such as being logged into the same accounts, etc., it will be available in the drop down. Same as just using your iPhone as a camera normally too. It works pretty smooth without any delay too. Oh, and you guys also got ProRes support. Oh damn, son! In OBS 29, users can now choose their update channel too. Hop into settings, general, and you will see a drop down menu where you can choose if you want to use the beta or release candidate updates, or you just want to use the stable releases of OBS. This will make it so much easier to update OBS, and it will also allow you to downgrade back to the stable release too. In theory, this feature will take a little while to come to the beta though. There are many more features features too and no doubt the developers will keep adding more so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything as I will be covering everything on the channel. Like the video if you found it interesting and let me know in the comments what your favourite edition is in this new release of OBS 29 or if you wish the feature would be added. Special thanks to Armed Gamer, Bongo, Fever Team, Marcus Vasquez and N2M Bacon for being the top supporters of the channel. Click here if you want to learn more about OBS and here if you want to know more about OBS plugins. Catch you over there, put your rock in for the stone.